Welcome back to Rainbow Plant Life. If you're new here, my name is Nisha and thank you for joining me. So in my part of the world, fall is quickly approaching, which means winter is coming, which means you have any excuse to eat all the pasta you want. And that's why I'm sharing with you three easy vegan pasta recipes that take about 15 minutes to make. They're super easy, they're hearty, and they're delicious. And if you like these easy vegan pasta recipes, please consider hitting that red subscribe button below so that you get notifications when I post new videos, and also that thumbs up button. All right, let's get into our first easy pasta recipe. Our first easy vegan pasta recipe is a pumpkin alfredo ravioli, which is perfect for the fall weather. You're gonna start by heating one tablespoon of vegan butter, and we're gonna cook one diced onion and some minced garlic until it's softened and browned. Then we're adding two tablespoons of chopped fresh rosemary because rosemary is the perfect complement to pumpkin. And then add in some cinnamon, nutmeg, salt, and pepper. Then I'm going to add some pumpkin puree. This is just from the can, but if you want to, you can use fresh pumpkin puree. It will be even more delicious. And then I'm adding a half cup of canned coconut milk. I like to use full fat coconut milk because it gets extra rich and creamy. Bring that mixture to a simmer and let it thicken for a few minutes. I guarantee your house will feel just like Thanksgiving. Minus your family arguing over politics, of course. Then I'm just going to add the pre-cooked ravioli to the sauce. This is vegan ravioli from the brand Kite Hill Foods. If you can't find vegan ravioli, you can always use fettuccine or any other pasta you like. To finish this dish, I'm going to add some fresh minced parsley some salt and pepper to taste, toasted walnuts, red chili flakes, and some vegan Parmesan cheese. This pumpkin alfredo ravioli is super hearty and delicious, and as soon as the temperature drops in your area, I recommend you try it out. Next up, we have a creamy avocado linguine. These are all the ingredients you need for the creamy avocado sauce. To make the sauce, you'll need one avocado. Make sure it's really ripe, otherwise the sauce won't be creamy and it'll be kind of gross, so nobody wants that. Then I'm adding some fresh basil and fresh baby spinach leaves, as well as some vegan coconut yogurt. You can use any vegan yogurt you like. Then I'm adding some nooch or nutritional yeast, as well as some sea salt and the juice of half of a lemon. To season, I'm going to add some freshly cracked black pepper and red chili flakes, but only if you like it spicy. And then finally adding in some fresh garlic. Then turn on your food processor and let it do all the work. Of course, make sure you put the lid on. And after a minute or two, you'll have a really creamy, thick avocado sauce. This is some linguine that I've just cooked and drained, and all you have to do is dollop on that creamy avocado sauce. To make this dish a complete meal, I'm gonna be adding some ready-to-eat vegetables. Of course, feel free to use any veggies or proteins that you like. I just wanna keep this really quick and simple. I'm adding some cherry tomatoes, defrosted frozen peas, and canned organic corn. And to finish the dish, I'm adding some hemp seeds for protein, fresh parsley, and basil. I love making this dish when I have friends over because it's a little impressive, but it takes just 15 minutes to put together. Our last easy vegan pasta recipe is a Thai-inspired pesto pasta. To make the pesto, we're gonna start with one and three quarters cup of cilantro leaves. I'm also adding in some dry roasted peanuts and the juice of one lime. Then I'm adding in some soy sauce or tamari, which is gluten-free soy sauce, as well as some freshly cracked black pepper. Finally, add in some fresh ginger, garlic, and diced chili peppers. The exact measurements for all the recipes will be in the description box below. Then turn on your food processor and with the motor running, stream in two tablespoons of oil. 
you may need to scrape down the sides of the food processor bowl to get the texture you're looking for. Then we're going to heat up some coconut milk on the stove and add the pesto to it. Stir that mixture together until it's well incorporated and slightly warmed through, and then just dump in your pre-cooked pasta. Of course, Thai food doesn't usually include pasta or pesto, so this is just Thai-inspired, it's not an authentic Thai dish. If you want to make it a little more traditional Thai, you can use rice noodles instead of pasta. To finish this dish, I'm adding in about a cup of edamame. This is organic defrosted edamame, which will add a lot of protein, and some dry roasted peanuts for crunch, as well as some Thai basil. If you have trouble finding Thai basil, you can always use regular basil. This dish is perfect if you love pesto but are looking for something slightly different. Well, I hope those easy vegan pasta recipes have made you hungry, and if you try one of them, of course, let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.